It feels like so long ago that Avengers Endgame came out in theaters, but it actually hasn't been that long, you guys. Uh, now, this tutorial right here is the one that many of you have been requesting and have been waiting for, but of course, I wanted to wait a while uh, after the movie came out. Uh, I wanted to make sure that, you know, people aren't spoiled by this tutorial because the appearance of Thor in itself is its own spoiler. Like, nobody knew it was supposed to be a surprise. What's going on, Draw2 crew? Ramni here with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys, and as I've mentioned, today we are going to be drawing Fat Thor or just Thor uh, from Avengers Endgame. Here we go. Before we begin, be sure to read the description of this video. Down there, you'll find a list of my drawing tools, some tips to succeed in your drawing as you're following this tutorial, how to make tutorial suggestions if you have any, and best of all, a link to a free coloring page that is based on this tutorial. And having said all that, grab your drawing tools, let's draw Thor from Endgame. What is going on guys? Let's get started with our Thor tutorial. This is something you guys have been waiting for a long time. So I've got my paper in landscape mode and as I've mentioned, I'm going to be skipping or I'm just going to be glossing over a few parts here because it is a pretty detailed drawing and I don't want to take forever doing it. So, you know, we're going to miss out on a little bit of detail. I do have the um, the uh, reference photo down in the description for you guys to take a look at and add those details back in if you want. Anyway, let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide my paper in half. Because what we want to do is we want to draw Thor on this side and he's going to be holding the Stormbreaker uh, axe thing on this side. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to draw a circle right around here. I'm going to draw it about this big, like that. Okay, that's going to be obviously for his face line down there, line down here, sides of the face, center of the face is going to run down like this, and then there you go, there's going to be the, the chin, it's going to be covered with a beard, so you know, we'll just save the beard for a little bit later, let's continue with the neck, he's going to be kind of hunched forward a bit, so his neck is going to come out like this, okay, and I'm going to kind of figure out where his next, where his beard is going to go. So I'm just going to draw this line and it kind of looks like a, a triangle with rounded sides here. Okay, so it's going to look like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the chest. And then here I'm going to draw the, kind of a bit of the shoulder, like that. Okay, we're going to fix that a little bit later on. So don't let you guys worry about it too much. This is actually going to go over it because he is wearing a cape something like that. Okay, here we have the chest. So you want to make sure that the chest is pretty consistent with the size of the face. You don't want the chest too big or too narrow. So you kind of want, this is a good size. If that's the size of the head. That's a good size for the chest. And of course, we're going to have a bit of a pot belly. So it's going to come out like this. Okay. And then the actual body for Thor is going to come down like so. So he's got like this girth to him. Okay, so that's what that looks like, which is uh, kind of interesting that they went this route with Thor. I didn't expect it, and I was actually pleasantly surprised when he did come out like this. Okay, so here's our Thor right there. Okay, I'm going to draw the center line here, and then this goes down, goes down the chest, or sorry, the, the, the stomach, the tummy, the pot belly, like that. Okay, now there's our... Um, silhouette for Thor and now you guys I'm going a little bit fast and I know that I am uh, feel free to slow down the video pause if you can just do catch up because like I said there is a lot of details this will take forever if I you know if I slow down and do every single detail so I'm going to need you guys to kind of pick up the slack a little bit pause the video when you can add those details in and yeah there you go okay so here we go we're going to now draw the shoulder and the shoulder is going to be flat like this and then I'm going to draw the arm the arm is going to come out like this. So he's going to have his hand, so you guys can see I actually printed out the photo. He's going to have his hand kind of coming out. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit flat like this. And then I'm going to, okay, so you want to make sure that you get the placement right for these things first. So there's the shoulder. Let me erase what I can so you guys can see. Okay, shoulder. And here's the bicep and tricep there. And then you got the forearm like this. And you kind of want the, 
this area to be a little bit, you know, above this line right here. You don't want it to go past that line. So there's the forearm area right there. And then I'm going to draw a square right around here for the um, for the fist. He's going to be holding Mjolnir that way. Uh, we're going to readjust it a little bit once we draw where the Mjolnir is going to go. So again, there we go. Okay. Speaking of Mjolnir, let's uh, figure it out. Now this is the part where you kind of need to get a little bit of a math right. You want to make sure that these angles here are parallel. So I drew four lines going straight like this. Actually, let me readjust that. I kind of want it to go straight down a little bit more. Okay, so they kind of go straight up and down. Okay, there we go. We're going to do a 90 degree angle like this. Okay, and then here I'm going to draw a flat line. So you want to make sure that these are 90 degrees so you get that effect, like the hammer effect. Um, otherwise it won't look right. Okay, I spread these out a little bit. So they go a little bit wide as you go. Okay, I'm gonna cut off right here. Okay, parallel to this. Again, 90 degrees going this way. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna draw a little triangle here now. Zooming in slightly. Okay, parallel to that line, parallel to this line. Okay, there you go. So if you guys do it correctly, you should be able to, if you make a diamond shape here, that should be the edge of the uh, Mjolnir right there. So if you make that diamond, try to make it as nice as you can. Okay, this line, connect those lines, connect those lines, and there you have Mjolnir. Okay, right around here, you kind of want to draw so you can figure out where the center is going to be because at that center you're going to draw an oval and then here's it's going to be raised a little bit so you see the side of it right there so there's the oval at the top okay now what you need to do now is you need to adjust and here's where it gets a little bit tricky because you do need to move parts of your arm in order to accommodate okay so while you're drawing the hammer from here, imagine this line going straight parallel to these lines you did here. So imagine a line going across like this. That's going to be the center of the hammer. So that's going to be the handle right there. So you want to make sure that you go from the center, you run parallel to these lines here. And you just go down. And then that's the center of the handle. So you just make that handle. Okay, so you just make that a little bit wider. And there you go. You might have to adjust. Let me fix it a little bit. You will have to adjust the uh, your arm a little bit. And I do have to do that with mine as well. So I'm going to do that right now. Let me zoom in while I'm at it. Okay, so I do want my fist to kind of go along the uh, handle of the hammer right there. So I'm just going to adjust a few things here. Make sure I get that done. Okay, so I'm going to enlarge the fist a little bit as well because it is closer to the camera. Okay, there you go. And then I'm going to erase that, grab myself a new pencil, and we're going to keep going. And there you go. So we've got that kind of done. Now let's work on this other arm here holding Stormbreaker. And that's why we got this huge space right here. So imagine his arm kind of coming back out this way. Kind of right where the chest area is. That's where you want the bicep to come out. About that far towards the center. And then here you got the back of the arm coming out this way. Okay, you want it to go down and then across in a bit of an angle like that. So he's kind of holding uh, the Stormbreaker in a bit of a, an angle. So here's the... arm right there just keep working at it I'm gonna cut it off right around here is a good spot okay his gauntlet goes about there wrist covering whatever it's called okay there you go now I'm going to kind of imagine his arm I'm gonna draw this line right here and like this and kind of like that okay so it's a bit of a one, two lines like this, and then 
that. Okay, so we're gonna draw him holding the Stormbreaker. Here's the handle for the Stormbreaker. You kind of want to make sure that it runs in between this shape here. There you go. It gets wider here. And it kind of goes like this, right? So right along about the top of his head there. You don't want it to go any higher than that. So right around there. I'm going to draw this little bulb. So it kind of looks like he's holding a gigantic Q-tip. But what you want to do is you want to draw a line. You want to make sure that this line right here is not any angle but perpendicular to this line. So if you have this line at an angle, you want to make sure that this line right here, which goes along the center of this, you want to make sure that that's 90 degrees. Otherwise, you're going to have a pretty crooked looking meal or sorry, Stormbreaker. You don't want that. Okay, so there you go. I have just enough space right here, hopefully, to kind of, yeah, I do. So, yeah, like, if you look at the back over here, it goes from, like, really close to the edge here to really close to the edge there. So, um, I've got mine kind of nice and centered. But uh, if you guys don't have yours centered, uh, that is fine as well. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm kind of drawing the X, the, the sharp part of the X here drawing this nice curve and for the most part the curve should be it should go in in the same angle so what I mean to say is if you turn it like this this side right here should be mirror image to this side here okay as much as you can anyway now here's the thing with my my reference photo is it gets cut off so a lot of this stuff I'm going to have to do from from memory you guys I think I may have made mine too big, so I'm going to shorten it a bit more. Okay, there you go. Aha. So there's our Stormbreaker blade. Of course, this part right here is all going to be Root's arm. Okay, and then right here, it goes wide again. You want to make sure that they're mirror image off of the center line. About this far out, I'll cut it off diagonal lines and then this parallel line to this line okay there you go so now we have stormbreaker we have mjolnir over here we've got thor right here with his um, pot belly i'm gonna cut off my drawing right around here there you go so for the most part we are finished with our initial drawings let me actually before we do anything just kind of just go general idea where his hair is going to go. So his hair is going to go down this way. Hair is going to go down this way as well. Okay. And then here he's got his top and then it goes, his hair goes towards the back like that. And then he's got like, a bunch of hair coming out like this. And I'll show you guys how to do that later on. Um, as far as the circles are on his chest, there's one right around this side right here. Okay, there's one right here. You don't really see much of it. Okay, that's like his uniform. Now, I'm also kind of guessing where they are because here you don't really see it. It's all dark colored. Okay, and then here we've got, right around here, we've got a little circle. And the other side, obviously, you can't see. Okay, so there we go. There's our initial drawing for Thor. I'm gonna grab myself another pencil and let's go to part two, filling in the details. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to zoom in on the face. Now, again, I like to mention this. Um, it's nice if you get a likeness of Chris Hemsworth, but if not, it's not a failure. It's fine. Anyone who tells you otherwise in the comment section of this video, uh, you know, let them know that my goal is not to make Chris Hemsworth. Just if you see that in the comment section, just let them know that that's not my goal. Okay, so kind of just shaping the general area here. I'm going to erase this. This is kind of where I want the nose to go. I'm going to make the V-shape for the nose here. With a bit of a ovals at the tip here, so it looks like he's playing his nose. Okay, there you go. So we started with the nose first. So if we draw a little triangle, that's where the eye line is going to go. 
more or less right around here. Okay. So I'm just going to draw the eyes. And the eyes are just going to be more like trapezoids, like that. And then this one closer to the nose, like that. Okay, so the shape is kind of like this, kind of rounded off. Okay, both sides. He's gonna, he's not gonna have any pupils. He's gonna be looking to the side here because Thanos, in this scene, in the movie, Thanos is gonna be like right around this side right here. So that's where he'll be looking. I'm not gonna draw the pupils in because he does have glowing eyes. Although in the reference photo, you do see the pupil a little bit. Okay, there we go. There are those eyes. Let's give him a brow here and here. And then let's give him some eyebrows. I'm gonna draw the eyebrows kind of like this. I'm just gonna draw them as thick lines instead of individual lines. So like that. And then this one, we want to make it diagonal so it looks like he's got a, an angry scowl. We also want to make sure that they're the same, right? So same height. There we go. Okay. When you work on the face, it's, it's good to like draw things lightly. little bit of a bridge on the nose. If you guys notice, um, Chris Hemsworth doesn't have like a straight nose. He does have like a big, a bit of a bump right here. I think I made, a, made it a little too prominent, but that's, that's fine. Might actually just erase it. And that's what drawing is about, right guys? Making mistakes, recognizing them, fixing them. Okay, here I'm going to draw bags under the eyes because he's been through a lot of stress. Okay, and then sides here. Bit of a some cheek. Cheek here as well. There you go. And then forehead. Looks like that. Kind of looks like a ninja right now. Because we're not drawing the bottom part just yet. Here we go, we go just and draw a line, a bit of an upper lip, and lower lip like this. See, it doesn't look quite like Chris Hemsworth, but hopefully if we start drawing the uh, facial features, that'll hide a little bit of our, you know, lack of likeness, and that's fine. I'm not focused on making him look like the actor. So I'm just gonna fill up his beard here. <laughs> if you look, if you leave it like that, um, it just looks really funny. Okay, but let's continue to add that mustache here. So I'm just drawing around the mouth right now, and then we're gonna fill the rest in. Okay, okay, right here he's got like a bit of a soul patch, so that goes high up, and then down here is a little lower. <laughs> I, it looks really funny, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so just keep working at it right here now. Go a little bit lower than the, here's the cheekbone. You wanna go a little lower than the cheekbone, right there. Okay, right here it does have like this braided part that goes down all the way to the bottom here. I'm gonna draw that little little braided part right there. Okay, so there's that um, part right here, and then he's got this looks like a paintbrush tip. There you go. So there's his um, beard. So this braided part right here, I'm gonna do like a backwards Y, and then that closes it. I'm gonna draw another line right here. Like that 
actually this goes straight across like this sorry about that okay that closes that i'm going to draw another line going down continue this line closes that so you should have this zigzag right here that goes down to the bottom Okay. Horse right here has got like this beard that's sort of just kind of messy, but at the same time it does kind of flow towards the center a little bit. There you go. Okay, let's give that beard a little bit more thickness. There you go. So uh, I intentionally kind of made it look like he is a little bit sad in the eyes. So I don't know, I guess that's a cool thing that just happened. But there you go. All right, so now that we have the forehead, let's draw the hairline. Hairline's right here. Start in the center. Okay, this goes out. So kind of, he's kind of got this hair that goes out like this, and it braids back. Okay, it's very loosely braided. That goes that way, and then from here, a little bit uneven. This goes around like that. So you kind of want to. There you go. Work on the hair in layers. Okay, once you have that, let's draw the hair. Again, this is like, it almost looks like uh, dreadlocks. Or it just looks like he hasn't taken care of himself for days. Okay, and it goes over his biceps here. So you want to erase a bit of the arm. He does have big thick hair, so you kind of want to be prepared to draw quite a bit of hair. And then this goes down actually to his hammer here. And I'm going to start with like this single strand of dreads, and it looks like it's spun around. Again, I'm just going to draw some loose hair all along the sides of it so here. And as you guys can see, I'm covering this, uh, that circle there. And there you go. I'm going to add a little bit more or more details to this when I start inking it. So I'm not going to be, I'm going to, I'm not going to worry about it too much here. Okay. And then here, this goes back. Let's work on the shoulder part before we complete the hair here. So I'm going to work here at the top. Again, working in layers. So it looks like he's got like hair that is weaved and goes backwards. The top is very messy. It does have like a bit of a part right here, but for the most part, the hair kind of goes up like that. As you guys can notice, it's not even here along the sides. And then it does have a bit of a man bun, or it's just tied in the back. And so you have like this couple of strands of hair kind of sticking out, almost like a pineapple. Okay. There you go. So there's Thor's head. Did I actually completely miss this part right here? So yeah, that's what I mean by the pineapple looking hair here at the top, I apologize for that. Okay, I'm gonna grab another sharp pencil and I'm going to work on this loop right here. And this is gonna be the armor covering kind of 
over the arm like this. Okay, so there's kind of the shoulder part. And then I'm gonna draw a line right here. It goes like that and it meets here. This part right here is pretty black. Okay, and then one, I'm gonna draw another line across like this, two, and then right here. So here's like the shoulder pad, a little bit of the neck uh, armor, and then here we have the hair going down. I'm going to use this pencil that we used for the hair to make this hair. Okay, and then now you've got the red part of the of the armor. That's the cape. It billows down like that. And then you got this part, which is the black part, it goes this way and then goes in. Okay. So the hair kind of goes out like this, but it doesn't go behind the it doesn't go behind him. It sort of just goes rests on his shoulder, so messy. Just add those messy layers of hair until you get something that looks like that. So now we're pretty much done with Thor's face. And here he is. This is what he looks like. There you go. Okay. So that's that. Going down now. Let's uh, work on his armor piece here. Here we've got the chest and I'm going to draw a line like this and then a sharp turn like that. Okay. This goes out and kind of does a bit of a sharp turn going down. Straight down like that. Trying to get that nice and clear for you guys. Now, which one's sharper? Okay, I'll take the dull one. I'm going to draw the center. It looks like that. Okay. Again, here it's hard to see, so I'm going to speculate on what the armor looks like based on his armor from uh, Endgame, or sorry, Infinity War. So I'm going to draw this first piece right here. This is going to be the um, what do you call it? The chest piece right there. And then here's the other one going this way. Okay, so there's the chest armor. Just like that. Okay, and then now I'm going to bring a line from here, diagonal towards the center, but not touching the center line. And then this just goes down. Same thing on the other side, because it's the same on the other side. And this goes out like that. Okay. I'm going to draw a line from here now, going this way and then down. Hope that's all on camera. Not quite. There you go. Same thing here. This goes that way and that way. Okay. And then here, this just goes straight down like that. You don't see that here anymore. And then, of course, here's that circle. The circle motif in Thor's armor. I'm actually doubling the lines. There you go. Try to get that as perfect as you can. Uh, meanwhile, over here, you see a little bit of that circle. Okay, double up on that. You guys can still see it. There you go. And then here, you see a little part of it. Just go this way and then down. Okay, and then again, a little bit more this way. There you go. Okay, so, I mean, you see his side kind of goes like this, so he is wide. Okay, so now here we have the shoulder, working on the shoulder a little bit, just getting that shape right now. And then here we have the forearm, and here we have the hand. So let's get that right on camera first. Okay, so let's shape it. And what I do want is a little definition, a little bit of definition on the shoulder part here. So this actually goes down a little bit and goes back up. So this is part of the shoulder. Okay, here's a bit of definition on the tricep there. Goes like that and then this continues down. So even though he's a little bit bigger, Fat Thor he's called, not in the movie, but that's what, that's what people call him on the internet. He is still muscular. Okay, this goes down like that. So you, you do see a little bit of definition in the armor here. And then here you got the, got the arm there. So just working on making that look nice and erasing all of these things here. Just the 
cockpit part of the armor there. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is the gauntlet or like the, the wrist padding or the forearm padding going across to the other side like that. There you go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the armor and the armor is going to be flat, like the lines are going to be close together. And I'm going to start right at this curve here, kind of just work my way from there. And we're going to draw these as diagonal, diagonals. Okay, and then right here, they're pretty much almost, almost uh, perpendicular to the forearm here. So it does, it's not as diagonal. And as I go over like these parts, you guys notice that I, I do kind of show a little bit of change in the bump going to the other side there. There you go. And then on the other side, you kind of want this one to go just not as steep and just draw these diagonals. So work on the shoulder first. And then the biceps here. There you go. Kind of looks like a pineapple. There you go. So just keep working at it. And just follow the contours of the uh, of the armor or of the arm going curving along like that okay as for this i'm going to draw two small lines like that going down the center and then from here line going across okay and then after doing that i'm going to draw some straps going across one i'll draw another one two straps going across here and it's a little bit more detailed than this but this is where I want you guys to just fill in the gaps because I'd like to move on so we can complete this drawing. So the straps go over that armored part like that. It's actually a little bit more complicated than that. So there you go. And then for the hand, okay, I'm going to divide this into four. So we got our four knuckles. There you go. Okay, I'm going to start with this one. This is going to be the index finger. So it's going to be diagonal like this. And where it turns, I'm drawing these knuckle lines that go across the knuckle. If you look at your knuckles, you'll have that same thing. And it goes like this. Okay. But these ones do not have that same one. They just go across. One, two, and then this one is smaller. Like that. I will draw some knuckle lines, but they'll be right here. Okay, bringing the thumb now. Thumb is going to go out like that. Okay, and this goes to the other side. And there you go. He's holding the hammer. Of course, I, I, that's as fast as I'm going to go with the hand, unfortunately, because we do have a lot of stuff to cover. But uh, yeah, feel free to add more embellishments to the hand there. Okay, some waves to the cape. There you go. Okay, let's uh, fix our little Mjolnir here. If you guys did it right, you guys should have this Mjolnir that's pretty, pretty close to the original. There you go. That's what that looks like there. Okay. And what you want to do, I'm going to grab a little one of these the line going across here, but kind of in the center of it, you want this little rectangle part that goes up and down across again. So that's a part of the hammer there. And if you guys want to get into little, like a lot more detail, there's actually, you can draw little rectangles here and there's some thorn or kind of like Norse pattern right there. Same thing in here. So a little rectangle in this part and then a little 
pattern right there. You could darken that. Okay, there you go. Okay, and then for these, there's just going to be like this V shape, and I'm going to continue that V shape down the um, shaft <laughs> of the uh, hammer, and it goes all the way down like that. I'm not going to draw the end of the hammer there because it is, I am cutting it off right around here anyway. Okay, so there you go. We're done with that. Uh, We're still at this part right here. So let's continue. Again, you guys, I'm going to actually draw this part first. I'm going to have that same strap right here. I'm going to draw three, one, two, and then one right here. Three straps going along the wrist part of his armor. When I draw it, I raise it so that it is a little, creates like that nice little thing right here. See how it's raised right there? There. Okay. Okay, and then let's draw the armor part now. Here's the armored part and we draw a little bit of an elbow-ish area right there. Okay, I'm going to bring my bicep a little bit more to a point right there with a line going like that for the forearm. This goes like this and then back towards the armpit area. Okay, and then let's draw the same pattern. Now this right here, you see the diamonds are a little bit flat, but that's because of the angle. We're looking at it at an angle so it looks a little flatter, but here we're going to draw them a little bit more like squares. Right, there you go. Diagonal this way. And then same thing on the other side. There you go now. So you guys notice here it's a little bit more squarish where this is like flatter, more stretched out. Oh. So there's that. Okay, let me draw this center line right here. Let's actually continue that going down. There you go. Okay, so that's easy. That was fairly easy. Now let's work on this hand right here that's holding Mjolnir. I mean, Stormbreaker. Okay, you guys can see. I didn't draw any of the lightning effects here. Feel free to do that if you guys want to, but I'm going to skip that part uh, for now, um, maybe we'll see you later on if you know if you guys want to do that. Um, okay, so I'm going to figure out where the thumb is going to go. So this goes up. It's going to be part of the thumb. So I curve right here. Oops. And then there's our thumb. Line going this way, and then like that towards the center there. And then here's our stormbreaker handle. Okay, and then hand. Here's kind of draw Stormbreaker lightly there. Okay, one, two, drawing these sausages almost, three, and then one more right here, four. There you go, so you got these four fingers grasping onto the handle of Stormbreaker and to make them look like fingers it's going to add some knuckle lines here some fingernails there maybe there you go okay so there's our there's our hand holding on Let's move up and let's work on this part right here. So the way that I'm going to do this is start right here, work your way up as you go. Kind of don't make it a straight line intentionally because it's supposed to look like the tree, uh, tree roots. Okay, and then, and then I'm going to draw one line going down, kind of zigzagging like that. Okay, so it goes up like so. I'm going to go 
back up like this and then down again. So, so it looks like that. So you guys see how I drew like these two tentacles that go up and then I'm gonna go again. This time I'm overlapping, I'm going underneath. I'm going right there, okay? And then I keep going. This one I'm gonna make it go up this way, okay? And then maybe you're here, I'm gonna draw one going across like this. This is where it starts to get complicated. Okay, maybe another one going this way. So just create these series of lines that that kind of go up and wrap themselves around the metal part of Stormbreaker. And then once you get down to the handle, just draw them as lines going down, uneven lines, so that it looks like a tree. Okay, there you go. And then just, if you have the details, all you have to do is like create some texture on those lines so they don't look they don't look like tentacles. You want to give them like the little lines going across and make them look like a tree. Okay, you want to do that for the whole uh, of this thing right here. So zooming out. So adding those lines going across just gives it a little bit more of a, a, a nature-like texture. There you go. Now, this part right here at the uh, at the back, I'm going to draw a line going across here. So we're always going to uh, base our drawing off of that center line. Okay, parallel to this here, just like that. Okay, same spot here going across, parallel to this line. Okay, and then one, two. Kind of looks like a diamond. Okay, now two lines going on the top part of the center line, and then two lines going at the bottom part of that center line. Okay, the inner parts, the inner lines go across to that line, and they sort of make this V shape like this. If I erase the center line here, you guys will see what I mean. Okay, and then the outer lines go out this way, and then this way. Just like that. Okay, and then here I'm gonna draw pointy, and then straight lines going towards the center there. And here, you guys see a little bit of gappage in between these uh, these lines here, or the, the roots or whatever, like the wood parts, just to shade them a little bit darker. There you go. Okay, and then lastly, the X part right here. Um, there's actually a little part of the X or the handle that goes out this way. Okay. Parallel curve. Let me uh, grab another pencil here. So there's parallel curve right there. Okay. From here, this goes I'm going to draw some diagonals that kind of run to the center. Okay, one, two. You want to make sure that they are similar angles so that when they meet, it looks even. But they don't meet, actually, because what you want to do is you want to take this line right here and just go across. One at the top of the center line, one at the bottom of the center line there. Okay, once you reach this part right here, you make a V. Okay, so that's that. Okay, now let's go over here. This goes across like this. This goes across as well. Okay, and then bring them this way. And then towards the center line here, and then two lines that go across towards the edge there. Just 
There you go. Okay. Same thing here now as we did in the back. Okay. There you go. Now all we have to do is um, diagonal and then line across. Okay. And then right here, line going this way. Okay, and same thing over here. Okay, parallel line, diagonal line, and a little bit of a line going across like that. Okay, and then lastly, we're going to create this diamond shape here and here. And then it goes in like that. Okay, there you go. We're pretty much done. And there you go, you guys. This is a pretty long tutorial as I anticipated. And I do apologize that you guys have been asking for this tutorial for a while, but I just haven't been able to do it because of my wrist. And there is Thor from Endgame. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care. And that is all the time that we have for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in all the way to the very end. I hope you guys are very proud of your drawings. If you are, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community and to Instagram and post your artwork there and tag me so that I can see it as well. If you guys are ever curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do uh, my tutorials, I have a link to those in the description below. So be sure to check that out. If you feel like being extra generous, I have links in the description on different ways that you can help support this channel. Your contributions go a long way in ensuring that uh, I can make content like this for free for you guys, so I appreciate your consideration. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you, number one, liked this video, commented down below, and most especially if you shared this with your friends in your social media. And of course, speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Google+, and of course on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of the uh, tutorial that's here on this uh, video. Again, you guys, all of the links to all of those are in the description, so be sure to read it. Finally, thank you once again for watching. I will see you guys next time, and don't forget, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. Take care.